Hello, welcome to YouTube. So, we got Kenzie here. Hey. Yep. It's just me, this Kenzie. Is, <laughs> this is a trial. <laughs> Specifically for Kenzie, this is actually her test. Oh no, you didn't tell me I was being tested. <laughs> yep. Alright, so what what are you playing today? I'm playing on um, Toho 10. Sounds interesting. It's okay. So I forgot <laughs> the controls. Okay, <laughs> here we go. My boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey. Just the music is what we want, not really the game. I mean, it makes sense. Burp. Burp. At, least so. at least you're playing a game. I'm over here looking at... A anatomy stuff for my college classes. Yeah. I bet you are. So... Hey kids, college is fun. <laughs> I can attest to that. <laughs> you know what's funner, though? What is funner? Let's see. Whatever this is. But also, um... <laughs> Great. So also... Trying to think of like a good topic of conversation. Oh yeah, do you know that they found out a new species of orangutan? There was, there was two before, but now they found a third one. It's already endangered. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. Hmm. I did not know this. For you see, I am not interested in monkeys. Dude, like half of my friends think orangutans are like the funniest thing in the universe. Oh no, they're pretty funny. But I'm just not that interested. I'm over here, like, learning about wolves because that is what I'm interested. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, it's part of, like, for um, a class I'm doing, I'm drawing a picture. Because we have to learn about colors now. We, we finally got to that point in art where we can use colors. Magic. I know, it was so frustrating. For about ten weeks, we weren't allowed to use color for anything. I'll have you know that I actually learned about colors in like second grade in Spanish, mind you, and in English. Ooh. I don't know why Spanish that early, but I did. Hmm. I do not know. My memory's all a haze. I see. Ooh, whoa. Oh god, what the hell's going on now? I died twice and it's not even <laughs> the part I got to. I'm learning about how um, the fur of the wolf works, and there are like they they outlined it with colors to like show you the different sections, oh. right? But there's like 15 different colors here, and I'm like, oh, okay. Guess uh, guess this is a uh, more complicated than I thought here. Yeah. I mean, it's always pretty complicated. And you, you you taught yourself most of your art, right? Yep. Okay. Shout out to all the people who are self-taught artists. A. A. There's like this a couple people on Discord I know though that whenever you even like indicate they have art, they're like, oh yeah, check out my um my deviant art. Check out my deviant art, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. I'm reading like. A the descriptions and part of one of the words I come across is and I kid you not the butt cape the what the butt cape what is that it's like um I, I think it's like um you know the thing over like a, a wolf's thigh like really long shaggy fur that's basically like going from the thigh to the butt so the oh. butt cape I guess I don't I don't know but I just love that term. Same. That's now my new favorite word next to, um, what was it? I don't know what my other favorite word is. I always have one and I forget. Mm. It's good commentary, but let me tell you something. Okay, tell me something. Let's see. What about, uh, wasn't like a buttload like a, like a unit of measurement? I think so. I don't know if it's like a con confirmed real unit of measurement, but... I'm pretty sure it is, actually. It has to do with barrels. Mm. 
I'm learning about how wolf pelts work, and like, wow, I just noticed they all have like the exact same pattern, just in like slightly different colors. And I never knew that that is how it worked, which is kind of cool. That's mental. So, you know, now I know. Don't you know? Don't you know? There's somebody in one of my classes that says that all the time. Don't you know? And I think it's like the funniest thing ever. Uh, don't you know now? I also find it weird that like if you dr look at a wolf from the front, like it doesn't have pointed ears, which hmm. is true. Is it because it puts it down or? No, 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 like the, just the tips of the ears aren't actually pointy. Like they're sharper ears, but they're not pointed. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking at like, they also have like a section here too of like, um, common mistakes that a lot of people do when drawing wolves. Are you guilty and, um, of any? Um, probably about 7 out of 11. <laughs> like, for, like, um, oh, I don't know, like, drawing the eyes really big, pointed ears, unnaturally high head, um, probably, like, no, well, not so much the tail, um, the chest, making the chest too wide, um, Make, making the legs too muscular because I, I keep forgetting that like they actually have really thin legs up until like their shoulders oh I didn't know that yeah. uh, round paws definitely that one and um, w like when the feet are too long making it almost like a, like a, like a hoofed animal instead of an animal like a wolf or a dog or something, you know. You yeah, know I know what you're animals. saying. <laughs> Give it horse legs instead of dog legs. Dang, don't I love them horse legs. Well, I can't say, like, the only animals that I have been exposed to, because I'm not an artist, but I will tell you that I saw plenty of bison and antelope where I used to live. Those are pretty cool. But, you know, just the other day, you know, someone was telling me that he thought bison were pretty funny, and I was like, hmm, I'm not sure about that. I mean, bison can be pretty funny. I well, mean, I don't know in, in what sense they mean, but I, I guess, don't know what they you mean know, they're just, they're just big and fluffy. I guess he just thought they were kind of, like, like, pathetic compared to other animals, like majestic horses or something. I don't know. Rude. <laughs> I mean, right. maybe I'm biased, but I think they're the best animal. I mean, fair enough. Well, dolphins actually are, but... Dolphins are smart. Just don't get me started on their, like, things that are less savory. Like, I, I'm not gonna... Let's not mention that here. Let's keep this PG. Yeah, that's true. But just children, don't if you're interested, there. you can look this up, but don't recommend it. Okay, I'll say Ch I children, children, if you wish to look this up, I suggest the video Flipper the Scientifically Accurate Dolphin. <laughs> Scientifically accurate flipper. Oh man, no. Actually, don't. Please don't. Dolphins are so it, majestic. Don't look up anything scientifically accurate from the from the channel ADHD because it, it will ruin your childhood. Speaking of which, don't watch the ruin your childhood video. I mean... It did ruin my childhood, I will admit that, okay. Let, let me guess, does it have something about Finding Nemo, like the, the, the clownfish thing? No, 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 it has, um, you know, you know the voice of Ducky from The Land Before Time? No. Do you know what happened to her voice actor? I do not know. I, I don't think I should say it, um, because it's very dark. And that's not what we're about here. We're about quality jokes. And chatting. I gotta say, I, I I do know recently I heard that uh the Clifford the Big Red Dogs actor he um apparently like had a stroke or something like on set. Don't say that. I loved Clifford the Big Red Dog. I still have a a, a plushie of Clifford the Big Red Dog in my house. I apparently was always a big fan of, of Blue's Clues and um, Bob the Builder. Blue's Clues is quality. I actually have a um. And I actually have a P 
PS1 game of Bob the Builder. Do you really? I kid you not, I still have it. You wanna know what my favorite th like it was it wasn't really even a game like back when PS1 was a thing and like before I don't know, like games with storylines and stuff. Um in the game it was pretty much just a compilation of a bunch of little mini games. So uh there was like one where um you play as the the crane. I don't know what their names are anymore. I just remember like the crane. Hold on, I'm gonna look this up because I want to know their names again. <laughs> I think it was Lofty, of course. Yeah, Lofty, like a, a blue like truck with a hook on it and like a crane. You played as that, and um, you had to like take pieces of a bridge and put them in the right spots to build a bridge. There was um, Rolly. You had to play as Rolly for one mini game where you were like in the middle of. I want to say like a, a cornfield, huh. and for some reason, like I don't know, but like the cornfield was made of mud, and bubbles would keep popping up, so you had to roll over them and pop them. And I think there was another one that had to do with like chasing crows away, and I can't remember which one you played as for that. And then the final one, which I think I would I would have to say is my favorite, is um is you played as Bob and you like, no, you played as Bob's girlfriend or whoever her name was, his wife, whatever. And um, you made a birthday cake for Bob. It was, it was such a terrible game, like looking back on it now, but as a kid, I thought it was the best thing ever. I had like and, a Smurfs game, I think, that was kind of bad too in retrospect. Yeah, the the crea the title was so uncreative too. It was literally called Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? <laughs> and it was terrible. Oh my god, I forgot he had a cat. Oh no, there was way more mini games. Holy crap, I missed so many. Yeah, Kenzie, there was the bridge. I have oh. to tell you something. I don't know how to oh, do no. a certain thing in this game. Like, there's like a button you press to put a bomb. I have no idea what button that is. I, I have no idea, so I have no idea. Look it up, please. Help me. No. I'm looking up all the Builder PS1 mini games. <laughs> I, I, I gotta find it, man. There's so many more mini games than those three that I remember. I just, I don't remember anything about Bob the Builder. The only thing I remember, oh, I remember which I don't remember so anything much. straight up. Okay, wait, no, let's see, let's see. Um, so there's there's one where you have to play as there's another one where you have to play as Bob and uh -huh. you have to go through like his house and like fix all the things that are broken like radiators and stuff like that. Okay. And in the same game where you can build bridges, you can also demolish them. Mental. A hey, my roommate has arrived. Oh. All right. Yes. All right, anyway. No, there's that um there's another one where you play as Lofty again, and you have to you have to uh, put pipes together, like blue pipes. Oh, never mind, she has left. Okay. Oh. Oh, indeed. <laughs> I was like, I guess this is the end of the recording. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> no, 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 no. I still would have kept going. Okay. I'm a great roommate. Hey. 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 Remember, remember, kids, if you plan on going to college, don't be mean to your roommates, please. Thankfully, I cannot have a story about one yet, but I'm sure I will have a horror story about one soon. And that, actually, <laughs> I'm going to be the horror story, to be honest. <laughs> They're going to be like, this guy is ridiculous. Also, I feel the bonus. Thanks a lot, game. How dare you? Oh, I found another one. There's one where you play as, like, a... Uh... If you play a scoop, yeah, all the all the in case you couldn't pick up the trend here, all the Bob the Builder uh, um, machines don't have very creative names. I guess because they want you to learn the name of the thing, you know, instead of like the name of some artificial character. I mean, true. Like y there's Travis the tractor, Scoop the excavator, Lofty the whatever you call those those. Big three six wheeled trucks with the crane on their back. Lofty? That doesn't seem like a hmm. Hold on, I gotta find out what machine he is. He is a he's just a mobile crane. Oh. 
That's all he is. He's yeah. not sponsored by like a corporate or something? No, none of them are. This isn't what they do. That's he not what they stand for, huh? He had a sh he had quite a few machines. He had Rolly the steamroller, um, Dizzy the s the little cement mixer. Mental. Um, Trix was a purple forklift. I don't remember those ones. I just remember like, I just remember Lofty. I remember Scoop, and I remember Tr and I remember Rolly. Dizzy gives me nightmares though. I bet she she does. Wait, it's a she. But, how did, how I don't know. I don't know. Probably who cares? They're they're little they're tractors and stuff. They don't have they don't have things to determine that. Um, Benny is a s skid steer loader. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm gonna play Minesweeper instead. For <laughs> <laughs> my uh my Thanksgiving break, and I'm uh I'm just gonna play some Bob the Builder. I was at my uncle's house down in Virginia because I don't even remember why we were there i think we just decided to visit and um it was like i think it was october and i was i was young i want to say about you know 10 and i i was sleeping in the living room alone in this unfamiliar house and um before i went to bed i decided to watch a movie and for for people who don't know me which is probably the entire youtube community right now um, I loved Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is like my all-time favorite childhood show. <laughs> and in particular this day, I decided to watch the Scooby-Doo movie, Scooby-Doo and the Legend of Vampire Rock. Do you, do you know what that movie is? Is that the one with the, the band? Yeah, it's the one where they like all go to Australia and there's like a big like battle of the bands thing. Oh, I was thinking of a different one actually, but that still works, I guess. It, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's it's basically just like a big rock concert out in the middle of, you know, nowhere in Australia. And, like, a vampire decides to come and, like, kidnap all of the, all of the contestants. And I can't remember, like, the entire plot, but I just know that, um, like, I had a nightmare that night about vampires. And I, I've always been, like, Low key, I had always been low key scared of vampires as a kid, not werewolves, not werewolves, just vampires. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they had. I guess I'm reading the description now. They had a big vampire rock musical oh, festival see. set up near. Guess where? Um, not sure where. Uh, Probably... Vampire rock. <laughs> okay, I thought you were gonna and say like they actually went to Transylvania. No, I said in Australia. <laughs> I know, but that's why I was confused. But a p <laughs> this is, gets even better and makes it me feel so stupid for being scared. Guess the you want to know what the name of the vampire is? Um, something that's a pun of Australia, probably. No, the vampire's name was Yowie Yahoo. What? Yeah, Yowie Yahoo, and apparently it lives. The vampire lives in the rock. Is this guy like a Cotton Eye Joe backup singer? Or? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, blah blah blah. Skipping stuff. Don't really care. Me in real life. Yeah, I don't. It, no, they like really like plotted out the entire thing, and I don't really care. Also, you gotta you gotta understand something about my my YouTube channel. Now that we're on this topic of me making memes and it's that i'm a very anti-meme channel so you have to avoid making memes all, all the time that are well known <laughs> oh no such sad hey you're very disqualified oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so so apparently like you know they go there to the concert the the, the scooby-doo gang and they're told that like the previous in the previous year, there was a, a band called Wild Wind, and um, they got third place. Then they went into Vampire Rock and were never heard from again. So now everybody believes they were turned into vampires by the Yowie Yahoo. <laughs> I can't, I can't take that name seriously, Yowie Yahoo. What kind of monster is named that? Then again, would you be able to take it seriously if they took your family? I, pff, whoa, that no. I went from zero to a hundred real quick. Yep, and I can make it sound pretty, you know, demented. 
So yeah. With this high quality microphone that I have not mentioned to, this, to my viewers yet. Whoa. So yeah, they 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 do their little you know searchy thing that the gang always does. Um, and then they find out that, and then like suddenly, like you know, while bands are practicing and stuff, the Yaoi Yahoo and his and the Wild Wind band of vampires show up to capture. Yeah. Well. You know. Well, I gotta clear my throat to be honest. Give me just a second. Ooh. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Anyway, I'm back. So much, so much reading. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. They, of course, they figure out what's wrong. They trap the vampires. They, f they figure out that, um. Who was it? It was a, it was a different band that, like, showed up. And apparently the name of the band was Two Skinny Dudes. <laughs> yeah. It's like that, uh, there's like a moving truck company called like, what was it, got two guys in a truck or something like that? Yeah. It's like that. So what, so of course, like the tip, they always get the reasoning at the end of the, the Scooby-Doo stuff and it turns out, um, the two skinny dudes wanted to start up their career so they posed as, as dead and were planning to perform again and they used special effects to make the Yahoo, Yahoo um, and you know, use climbing equipment to fly around. And when they were when they asked about the performers they kidnapped, they said they sent them away on a free Great Barrier Reef scuba diving tour. That's actually like the chillest thing I've ever heard one of the villains do. It's like, what did you do with all the people you kidnapped them? We sent them on a free vacation. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that's literally it. And then, of course, they found, the, I guess, the members of Wild Wind were also found, too. It didn't really mention that. So did the villains get, oh. like, punished, or were they just sort of like, eh, okay. I see what happened. The, the, hold on, let me re-explain it. So Wild Wind, the band that got kidnapped last year, pretended that they died so they could come back next year as a different band. Oh. And they and also so they so can yeah, raise their revenue on their music, right? Because you always make a lot of money when you fake your death or have your death. Probably, yeah. I see a bigger, bigger meaning behind this episode. But yeah, you no, know, I used to be so scared of that episode because, like, the Yaoi Yahoo, despite its name being like you know super lame, was actually really terrifying. Like, um, do you know you ever watch Fantasia? Is that the one with the Mickey Mouse? Uh, it's basically like a yeah, it's it's a Disney movie, but it's like a a movie where um, they took a bunch of like the people who play the instruments in the Disney films and like they they gave the artists pieces of music that they made and the artists had to like make a cartoon based on the music. Hmm. And um, there's one in particular called a night on the night on Bald Mountain. Please tell me you've heard of that. I have not. I uh, why? Well, I'll tell you it's, why. It's because it's, I'm uncultured swine, unlike someone here apparently. Well, it's a very important. It's very important. Just yeah. It's important. <laughs> wow. It's important because it's classic. So anyway, like um, it's 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 very it's known very well, especially in the uncensored version because there is um an uncensored version. Ooh. Yeah, I children I'm cover your insane. ears. Children cover your ears so you don't hear this. Listen, but, you have um, an audience of like three people. You're fine. <laughs> We can't. There all there are always children. They always find ways around the blocks. <laughs> no, but listen. So in the uncensored version, um, there are some uh nude women. Hmm. Hmm. He says, very intrigued. <laughs> no. Anyway, so um. But let you me need to show me what it is, you know, so I can have story. you know reference like these things. No. 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 Bad. All right. I'm just kidding. So, so this is the story. It's actually pretty, pretty short. Okay. So basically, at Walpurgis Night or um the Witch's Sabbath, I didn't mean 
Chernabog, god of evil, emerges from the peak of Bald Mountain, which in in reality is actually um, Mount Triglav in southern Russia. Hmm. Anyway, so Chernabog um, emerges from the peak of Bald Mountain and summons all his minions, including ghosts, demons, hags, and harpies, who dance furiously as he throws them into the mountain's fiery pit. Um... Chernabog is driven away by the light of dawn, and a procession of figures walk up a hill to witness the sunrise. And that's, that's pretty much it, but um, it has very disturbing imagery. Hmm. Because, well, for one, like it starts off like th- just a regular mountaintop, you know? And then all of a sudden you see um, a figure, a giant figure, I, I will say, who is very reminiscent of the devil giant bat wings, clawed hands, like horns, pointed ears. So like the um the more animalistic version of the devil, I guess you would say. Yeah, but he has like no lower waist like. Huh. Cuz his lower waist is literally the mountain. Gotcha. And uh yeah. So he just kind of like slowly awakes from the mountain. And of course, you know, he summons all his little minions, so you see, you know, skeletons riding ghost horses, you know, spirits in old-timey uh, attire, harpies, you know, and of course, yeah, the harpies, like I said, in the uncensored version, they had um, exposed chests that literally fly at you. When was this made again? I'm curious. Um, It's very old, actually. I mean, that's probably why then, right? Because, like, back then, animations were much more lean. 1941. That, right? Wow. Yep. Yeah, back then, you could make, you know, movies that were PG, but it would have, like, nude, uh, you know, exposed breasts. You know what I mean? Yeah. But actually, yeah, when I'm talking about movies at that, that time, I actually mean, like, the 70s or 80s. So. Yeah. But, but I mean, still, though, it was 1940, 1941 film is definitely um definitely old that sounds like a nice classic though i'm glad you shared that oh yeah no it's like we had to watch it and um in my music class when i was young and ooh, they have poke in tournament today <laughs> for my game club anyway so the reason i brought up um fantasia was because like that description i gave you of chernabog is basically the kind of like um design they went for with the yaoi yahoo Oh. That's pretty So, neat. like, yeah, the only difference is, like, instead of having, like, separate wings from his arms, like, his he's got, like, wings attached to his arms and no horns. And he, instead of having a mountain as his lower half, he has, like, a whirlwind. But he's essentially the, the same thing as Chernabog. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I, I didn't... See, I feel like even if I saw those two things, I probably would not have made that comparison. Like, I didn't realize it until now, and, like, I was looking at the Yao Yahoo because I didn't remember it, and I'm like, he looks just like Chernabog. <laughs> but no, that that's probably why I got so scared, because I probably connected it with Fantasia, like, subconsciously. And, like, holy crap, man. that That is a terrifying thing to show children. Yeah, I agree. Honestly... Honestly, I don't think the original Fantasia was meant to meant for children to see, kind of. Eh, yeah, I heard that it had pretty strong imagery, even like the original Fantasia. <laughs> but I mean, wasn't it meant to be kind of spooky and all that? Well, some parts were, some parts weren't. Like there was, um, oh, they, they had a particularly racist scene back then, too, or that I'm forgetting right now. Um... Probably, they probably censored out the cherubs, too, because of the fact that they're little naked babies. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me, honestly. I mean, what world have we come to where it's like, oh, you know, you can't have a naked baby? No, man. <laughs> you can't have naked babies. You gotta dress your babies in, in t-shirts and, <laughs> and shoes that won't fit them, like, two months later. You know, it's fine. Uh, yes, again, like, naked ladies, like, swimming in, swimming in a river or something. But you don't realize that they're actually, like, not ladies and are centaurs until they, like, get out of the water. And you're like, oh, hey, look at that. Horse. <laughs> Horse. Horse. 
It's like, whoa, hello. When did this happen? Hello? It's me you're looking for. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of there. Tours to return and, like, go on dates or something. It's okay. They're gonna go on a date with Santa. Yeah. They're just, like, regular people. Yeah, I feel like, I just see, like, all, you know, all the girls are getting ready, and then there's, like, a scene where, like, one of the boys centaurs, like, blows a horn, and they're all, like, heading over to the grotto. See, though, they, Whoa, they make you think they're blue. all regular people, except apparently this colored one, for some reason. I don't know, man. Just yeah. conflicting messages. But, I mean, right? it, it's kind of weird, though, because, like, all of them have weird colors. Like, there's a pink centaur, there's a blue one, there's a yellow one. You know. So, of course, I had to go for the cheap gag and pick the one that might have been, like, brown or black, right? Is that what they did? Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. It's garbage. <laughs> it's, it's rude. I want to find the one with, like, the hippopotami and the, um, the crocodiles. That one was pretty fun. Okay. It's basically just a ballet between some hippopotam hippopotami and tutus and, like, some crocodiles. You just made me think of the best character. <laughs> what? Well, it, it was with me, and then I lost it. Um, it was hip. It was like, oh yeah, hip hop in this, right? So it's like a like a disco hippo, man. That's that's gonna be the next thing. That's gonna be the next children's show character. <laughs> Champlain College, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> Uh, what the heck? When You're not supposed to mention casually colleges in like a recording. Just, you know. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. It's a little, little poor idea, you know. Just, I well, know. I was, I was surprised because I, did I tell you about my costume for Halloween? <laughs> um, are you going to tell the internet about your costume for Halloween? I am going to tell the internet about my costume for Halloween. Okay. What was it again? Hmm? I was a werewolf. I see. All right. And, um, you know, there was people going around, like, taking photos of, you know, people on Halloween, and I happened to be one of them. Okay. And, like, you know, people would see me walking around in my spooky wolf costume. Spooky. And I, I, apparently I was tagged on the, uh, the, the college posts, and I'm like, whoa, hey. <laughs> I'm funny. famous now. Yes. I am famous now, guys. Hashtag follow my Instagram. <laughs> Hey, go to your, go to her demon art. Go, my demon art. No, please don't. Yeah, yeah, don't actually do that. It's a bad idea. <laughs> don't actually do that, please. <laughs> That's a warning. <laughs> Just... Oh, there's another Fantasia. There's another cute one in Fantasia about like a family of Pegasi. A family. And they're Pegasi. so ma so majestic. It's like a baby Pegasi learning how to fly. See, this is this is too far. Now you now you're just going into territory that's deemed cute. And I don't know about that. It's a little... What? Pegasi flying is deemed cute? Yeah, a little bit. It's not okay with you? <laughs> what? I was like, is that not okay with you? Cute baby Pegasi learning to fly is not okay with you, Yeah, sir? that's that's a little bit beyond my reach. That's a little bit beyond my audience, to be honest. I don't think anyone <laughs> who, who watches this is like, you know, I need to know about this adorable thing, you know? I'm like, mm, I'm like, you oh. you do. It's, it's, it's good for <laughs> your soul. It's probably healthy, yeah. It's it's healthy to know about these cute things. <laughs> Look at them go, little babies learning how to fl fly. Fly. Learning how to be fly. Got to fly. He learn how to fly like you good like good fly. winged horse. There's a song that goes like "Fly Away," but I forgot how that song goes. So I'm not really gonna try, but you know. It's... I I know I know what you mean. I don't know the song right now, but I know <laughs> what you're talking about. I'm glad you know the song, though. That's good. <laughs> That's that makes me feel not silly. Note, note to self: Also, Pegasi apparently swim like swans, even though they don't have webbed feet. <laughs> probably because it's funny that way. Well, probably because it's like they're meant to be like half birds, so. Oh. I did not you know, know that. Well, I guess that makes sense, actually. I Do just you not know wings. what a pegasus is? No, I know what it is. I just assumed that there were horses with wings, not half birds. Yeah, I know, but like for some reason they can swim really well despite having hooves in this in this animation. I see. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. 
works, but um, I'll roll with it, I guess. You will allow it. I'll allow it, only because they technically are half birds, so you can, I guess you can get away with it. Yeah, I mean, as long as they're a bird that, like, is like a swan, like you said. Yeah, I mean, they could pe maybe Pegasi are mixed with swans. I have no idea. I ain't no myth myth mythology master. I'm pretty sure you could major in that shit by now, because, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, four quarters what? of this video have been you talking about mythical creatures. What are you saying? You, you calling me Professor Rotwood over here? <laughs> Rotwood? Who's that? Have you ever watched American Dragon? Um, no, but I remember you talking about it before. Well, get ready for me to talk about it again. <laughs> they gotta Basically, tell this audience you know, what they're missing, what, yeah, what their best show is on know. television. They gotta learn. Okay. The, the most quality shows of the early 2000s and today. Yeah. No, but um, in American Dragon, there was a professor at um, Jake Long's public school named Professor Rotwood. And guess what he taught? He taught mythological creatures. That he did. Okay. Well. He taught. He, it was. It was called mythobiology, <laughs> which is stupid because you know nobody knows the biology of mythical creatures because they don't exist. That's what they thought. Well, of course, like in that show, like <laughs> they did exist. So he all so it's always not looked stupid. stupid. At least. At least, at least to Jake, who actually knew about mythical creatures, but probably to everyone else, they're probably like, hmm, I guess this is science. Magical. <laughs> yeah, no, he literally taught the biology of magical creatures. And I always found it funny because, you know, you, you clearly see all the real, ma real quote-unquote, magical creatures in the show. And um, you see this nut job of a teacher tell saying all the wrong things about him. Oh, he gives it. He so gives was, wrong information. Yeah, because I mean, of course, you know, nobody's actually seen mythological creatures, so he makes basically makes up his own studies. Oh, I th I actually As, thought it would be like um he was like a mentor and that he actually gave advice that like was good or something. No, he like actually taught a class like he created himself about mythical creatures and their biology. Oh, that's not good. Like they, there was like you know he was talking about like the evolution of dinosaurs for one part and um talking about dragons and of course you know jake is a dragon <laughs> so all this information seems really stupid and he, he you know he's like all right all right mr long how what si what is the size of a dragon's brain you know <laughs> and he's like oh yeah. jake's uh, jake's like oh you know i think dragons are really smart you know they're probably probably got really large brains and he's like ah, ta -ta 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 -ta. wrong mr long uh, since since dragons obviously come from dinosaurs, we can conclude that their brains are about the size of a of a pea, M maybe a walnut. That's, that's and great. Jake is very offended by this, and there but was like I other. I don't think Jake's probably that smart to begin with, though. No. I mean, no, but he is a dragon, so he should know his own anatomy. <laughs> And then, of course, there was like an episode where they were trying, where Jake was trying to get money from Mister Rotwood by giving him actual evidence of dragons by like taking stuff off from his own body and like giving it to him oh so so like you know he he was uh he wanted to give he gave mr rotwood some like dragon toenails you know some dragon claws yeah and he goes like these are clearly fake everyone knows that dragon claws glow in the dark <laughs> and i'm like mr rotwood why that's great <laughs> And I can't remember, there was, like, some other things, of, like, bullshit things, like, about the scales, too. It's like, um, it's like it's a like, depressing version of Mr. Crocker, you know? I don't know. I like it. Yeah, like, no, it was even, it was an even more depressing version of, uh, basically that, yeah. Dude, and, this uh, sweeper is actually impossible. Okay. Or there was, like, one time he got, um, somebody to take, like, a photo shoot of him as a dragon, you know, get some quality pictures. Mm -hmm. And, uh, what was it? You know, he he gives Mr. Rotwood the pictures. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Rotwood was like, these are clearly photoshopped. It's like, it's like, <laughs> yo, no, these are real dragon photos. He's like, nope, there is no way somebody could get this close to a dragon and not be burned alive. Well, I mean, maybe he's still right, to be honest, though. I mean, I can understand that, like, if, like, from the way he's thinking, since, you know, 
dragons are supposed to be like hella dangerous and like ferocious beasts and stuff typically in like mythology yeah and uh like i can understand that but i just don't get where he got the whole like you know dragon's claws glow in the dark that was probably just like an assumption based on like some weird evolutionary nonsense <laughs> pseudo yeah um, I will tell you that I actually had the opportunity to take something like that. It was like a, a very small course on um, dragon things, but I decided not to. I am upset at you, sir. <laughs> Instead, I learned about like, what was it? Like World War II Nazi Germany stuff. That was pretty neat. I will, tell you, cool. I will tell you, though, that um, I don't like dragons that much because they're actually... My little corn in Smash 4 is like one of my worst matchups, and I hate him, and he sucks. And also, someone in my area is really good with him. Pisses me off. Uh, Shoutouts to Josh, by the way. But, uh. I have a hole. What? I was like, I gotta find some. I wanna find the things like he was saying about like how dragons are wrong. Cause like it's ironic since jake knows all about like actual mythical creatures and he's completely failing rotwood's class yeah because he's going off of what he actually knows and not what um mr rotwood is teaching yeah so he's failing that makes sense though i mean i also don't understand why this is a class that like exists is it like actually part of the curriculum or it's actually part of the curriculum i'm guessing that's ridiculous, but okay. It's not really explained why he has to be in Rotwood's class. Maybe it's like an elective thing or something their school does. It's like, you know, this class sucks, but I still want to take it. It's like, all right, dude. <laughs> but, but what was I going to mention besides that? I know there was another thing. Um... I, I know there was like other classes that I thought were, oh yeah, so I'm going to be taking next semester most likely a class about like space science, but with also like refer reference to life, it's astrobiology. That sounds cool. Yeah, so I'm going to be pretty excited about that. I'm going to learn all about aliens, that of which are not ancient, that are in space. So. Well, wait, I found the thing about the scales and the claws. Okay. All right, hold on, I'll give it a second. But, um, yeah. you gotta tell me what you think about alien life, too, while we're here. Of course. Yeah, dragon claws glow in the dark. Okay. And apparently all dragon scales ha smell, have a faint smell of lavender. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, don't, I actually don't get that one at all. Like, how is that necessary detail for <laughs> It gets even better. He's like, he, so Jake, you know, is clearly pissed off that he's like, you know, not believing this, this actual, like, dragon stuff he's given him, right? Uh-huh. And he goes, you know, you wouldn't know a dragon if it hit you and if it bit you in the butt. And he goes, ah, dragons always go through the throat and have acute allergies to human buttocks. Okay, well, I mean, hmm. <laughs> So it's like what he's he's like you can't fool a trained mythobiologist. It's like trained trained my ass. Okay, but listen, my friend, maybe he's actually schizophrenic. I wouldn't be surprised. He's a he's a crazy guy. He's <laughs> so portrayed he as like he crazy. He's schizophrenic. Thing. Yeah, he's just he. He's just a weird guy in general. He also actually once broke into the school to try and get like a relic he found. Mm -hmm. And nearly got arrested for it. He's been arrested or nearly arrested on multiple occasions throughout the show. The teacher or the main character? The teacher. Oh, <laughs> okay. For just his his craziness in general. Just for being a wild dude. Yeah, and uh, occasionally doing illegal things. Which is pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the dude literally lives in like an old garage in the bad side of town. And just so we can do like crazy mythological experiments. But why is this teacher like so relevant in the show? I'm confused. Because he's basically like trying to expose mythical creatures as being real, whereas like, you know, he's basically he's basically like Mr. Crocker. You know how Miss nobody believes Mr. Crocker that fairies are real, and he's like adamant on them. 
exposing the fact that fairies are real. But he's bad at it, or like he doesn't accept evidence that comes right at him. Yeah, pretty much. He's oh my God. it's kind of both. Well, like there was one time he did almost um do it like a so um Trixie and Spud, who are Jake's friends, um yeah they don't know that Jake is a dragon, right? Uh huh. So um what what is it uh they find like Jake knocked out in an alleyway as a dragon, oh. and they're like, "Yo, we can get mad cash for this." So they take their friend and sell him to Mister Rotwood. <laughs> and then um you know they they go to Jake's house to like tell him tell him about the good news about like all the money they just got for giving Rotwood a dragon, and find pictures on Jake lap Jake's laptop of him turning into the dragon. Why do you have pictures of that? Remember what I told you? I remember I said Jake took pictures of himself to give to Rotwood. Oh. Those were just like, those ones of him like turning into a dragon were just some extras he forgot to delete. That, that makes sense, actually. Is this like a season finale? It seems like it would be. Oh, no, no, no. This is only like halfway through the season. Mental. Yeah, so they they do that. Okay. So and, what uh, happens after that? I'm kind of... They, they, you know, they find Jake trapped in, like, an iron, like, fireproof van that Mr. Rotwoods could somehow afford for some reason. Amazing. I know, this, this whack job, like, public school teacher somehow has a freaking you know, military-grade iron van. Okay. Metal van, I don't know. Alright, uh, I know people that um, work are in the education industry, right, like, in my family. So, yeah. I can tell you it's probably because of school funding of like problem let's, let's say the special needs program because man when you have some kids with like special needs in your school you make a lot of money that you just kind of don't use probably well anyway um well, the school funded not not the individual person but i'm sure you could steal some resources from the school that are not used and then sell them anyway <laughs> continue yeah anyway he uh he's he's going to a conference and in the city because somehow he magically booked one like right away okay. and is about to expose Jake as a dragon to the entire world. So what they do is um, they, they pass Jake through like a cheap old dragon costume mm -hmm. and Jake human. And like when Rotwood opens the door to show him as a dragon, he's like, yo, professor Rotwood, can I take off this costume now? <laughs> and of course he gets arrested for, you know, imprisoning one of his students in the back of this, you know, military grade van so wait does he actually like does he still believe he's a dragon afterward or like what happens there um he doesn't well he doesn't know that jake's a dragon but after you know finding that he imprisoned a dragon in what should have been an impenetrable frock and seeing that this you know seeing that a kid is in there he starts getting suspicious that um dragons might also have the ability to shape shift ah which in fact is what they do have. Yeah. So now he so after, from that point on he says he's going to keep a, an extra close eye on Jake. Well, that's good. I feel like there's some so development he, there. <laughs> yeah, he at least got a little smarter and wasn't like, "Hmm, you know, like pulling a miraculous ladybug like woke." Clearly that can't happen. Also, you're making reference to the shows that I only know about because of you. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Miraculous Ladybug, I hate you, man. You know that? Dude, dude, no, it's a quality show. Season 2 comes out in December. Anyone, anyone here should, you should totally watch it, please. I need to, I need to ban you from my channel, Kenzie. This is, this is over. This, it's not gonna, <laughs> just Dude, bang. dude, why, why, why would you, you're having a good time? <laughs> it's like, okay, have you actually seen a video of mine, first of all? Because, like, most of the time I'm just, like, making up memes and just talking about stupid shit like oh is there an irish gun i mean you're you're just like hey listen to this culture this culture show <laughs> this culture well i am not a woman of culture frankly sorry mm. to disappoint you i see well i, I am I was... a woman of um <laughs> shitty tv shows a little bit of trash a little bit a little bit of that trash <laughs> the trash man. i'm the trash man. and um just like irrelevant things that most people don't know about Okay, I mean, I think it was. I, I like it though. Uh, the dragon stuff to me is kind of funny. I, I thought that was a, a like I said, I, I just love this random character just like having development in the show. He's like Mr. Crocker, but kind of weird. I don't know. He's yeah, they did, ha they were bold, they had character development in the early 2000s. <laughs> Mental, I know, of unheard time. of. 
my toes cracked and you heard that shit. I'm sorry, I'm just like fathoming over this wonderful piece of equipment that makes me sound <laughs> highly sensual. Meanwhile, I am still watching Fantasia and an ostrich is apparently uh, doing ballet. Oh. Yeah, I finally found the part with like all the animals and stuff. It's like not just hippos, it's like a whole bunch of different animals doing ballet. And if, if I want someone to be thorough, I definitely would trust you because you seem to like, be like, you know, I got to find this thing. And I mean, I do that too. I, I did that recently with, um, what was it, like, there was this, like, disease where, like, your bones or, like, your, your skin cells or, like, other cells turn into bone cells over time. And I had to try to figure out with someone what that was. What is that? Like, mastication or something? It's, like, osteo-something. It's not porosis. It's, like, the opposite of that. It's, it's I have osteoporosis. Okay, see, this is the meme that I, I told you. This one is not acceptable. Like, okay, so, Kenzie, I was joking what? before, but this meme is I actually bad. Up. What? Can't do iDubs memes? No, you can't. Also, because oh. he probably likes to yell. It's like, hmm, I don't know if I can endorse that. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> but, um, I, su I suppose you make a point. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yelling would be What's a that? really bad idea. I could turn down my microphone, sure, but what's the fun of that? Apparently, ostriches are really good at ballet. I believe it. Well, I mean, they got the legs for it. Have you seen an ostrich's legs? Maybe. I don't know. Have they you? got them long, thin legs. Yes, I have. Okay. Ostriches got them long, thin legs, so... Have you ever seen an ostrich's boot? What? The... I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's be honest. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really man, not Man, okay. I thought I was tired. <laughs> no, man. I'm in a better... I'm in a worse place right now, to be honest. Okay. Also, <laughs> I'm a little confused right now, to be honest, about this puzzle that I am doing. And by puzzle, I mean this thing that you see here. Okay. okay, that's right. Oof. I'm just very confused about why ostriches are doing ballet. Um, maybe it's because they enjoy ballet. I don't know. Like, maybe I mean, you just should you let them do what point. they want. I don't know. I mean, it's not my place to judge what ostriches can and cannot do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I won. Oh no. Woo, I beat the game. They lost their grapes. Oh, there's the hippo. Grapes? What fucking grapes are you talking about? Yeah, the, they found some grapes and they were going to eat them, but then they dropped them in a pool of water, so now the hippo is eating them. Okay, so low key, I think grapes are like the worst fruit. Hey. Hey, grapes are pretty good, my dude. No, dude, they're pretty bad, honestly. I think that I'd rather eat almost any other fruit. Why are grapes so bad? I don't know. They just don't do it for me. They they taste kind of, eh, you know, like you eat it and you're like, well, that was the purple flavor, but I don't know. It just, didn't... Was... <laughs> it just tastes like kind of underwhelming. And they're not many, like there's, there, you have to like eat them one at a time. You can't just take a nice bite, you know, which is what I like in a fruit. I mean, I guess, I mean, I take, I'll eat them like a bunch at a time. That's just me though. But like. I don't know, it's not the same, you know. It's the reason why I like sandwiches and burgers, too, because you can take a, just a nice bite of it. I like fruits for that reason, too. I like how when they animated this, they decided, hmm, let's not put the tutu on the uh, the hippo's waist. Let's put it, like, right under their chest. <laughs> Dude, I could corrupt something. Do it. Yeah. Let's see, I'm going to set this up, viewers. Just give me a <laughs> But anyway, life life what that is it is good a... for life That's that is a thing we experience Farting. what is it... what is it with disney and elephants and bubbles so, of course I, I don't know man that's just how the how the bee do you know because fuzzle is a... <laughs> the fuzzle wuzzle i'm gonna say that more often oh no one of the elephants broke choreography <laughs> what for my game exploration class in college, um, 
we actually had to play Galaga. That was the that was the game we were researching. You're researching Galaga. Yep, we had to research Galaga, and we have to give a presentation on it, hopefully on Tuesday. See, I feel like this school you go to is, like, pretty dang weird. Or... I don't know, but apparently crocodiles are vampires. <laughs> I don't believe you. You're bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to Fantasia, crocodiles are vampires. They all got straight-up Count Dracula cloaks on, and they're, I bet they they're do. hiding in the cloak pit, actually. I'm gonna play Bobble Bobble. Don't you dare. Holy shit. Whoa. Oh no, the vampire crocs are back. I don't believe you, to be honest. <laughs> I think you're lying Pix to me. Pixar GTFO. <laughs> what? Oh, Pixar get out. Gotcha. That's a good meme. Oh. See, that's a quality meme you enjoy. Whoa, I just died immediately. Holy shit. Why would you do that? That's not healthy. <laughs> oh, no. oh no, I dropped my phone. Uh... Oh yeah, so this is a corruption program. Let me just like casually demonstrate that. <laughs> um, what are my opinions of aliens? Yeah, hmm. man. I guess they're cool. I mean, they I don't exist. know. I mean, we... <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no aliens for me to to, to judge. Dude, Unless you mean like not. fake fake movie ones like Xenomorphs or something. You gotta tell me if they exist or not. Yes, they exist. Okay, thank you. But <laughs> um, you see, I think that intelligent life besides us does exist, but it's too far. You know, it's like you can't I get, get to that. that. So we're never gonna I actually see them. And I do not believe, unlike some people were telling me, that, what do you call it, that they have means to travel faster than light or like wormholes or something, because that's just stupid. No. No. And by stupid, I mean I don't want to believe something that we have no scientific evidence for. So. Indeed. And also, I don't blame you on that one. The universe should have limitations, you know? Like, I don't think it's fair that we just break every aspect of the universe, you know? I don't think we should travel faster than light. I mean, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> That's just I mean, I don't, I don't know. Do I, I don't really have two major opinions on that. I'm not- I like science, man, but I don't know enough about science for that. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> One time uh, I brought up, like, teleportation on this channel, on, like, a video that I think might be gone now, but, um, I was talking about how, like, <laughs> you know, I'm just, like, memeing, and then I suddenly get into, like, a really deep discussion about, like, how, um, what do you call it? I was like, oh, you know, but if you teleport, you know, is your is your clone the real you or whatever? You know, is that discussion? Yeah, that's that's interesting. Because it's like, you know, you have now like a version of you in the new location. Is that the same you? Like, I don't know, man. It's mental. It's mental. I'm watching a night on Bald Mountain. A night on Bald Mountain. I like the. Is bald mountain, but that's okay. But why is the mountain bald? And why does Kirk well, climb the mountain? <laughs> why does Kirk? Okay, this is a really good meme that you should look up since we're talking about memes. Since you've corrupted I guess. me. Speaking of friends. Since memes are life. Yeah. Shit. You don't have to be perfect. Perfect. Look at all them little demony things dancing on Chernabog's fingertips. I could just imagine like the audience watching this video right now. They're just like, man, I'm not She's even gonna... relevant anymore. Sorry, audience. We we love you, but uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. play some Legend of Zelda. Should do that. Break some pots, and by pots I mean jack shit. Chernabog's making fire demons who are also ladies. Whoa, I'm flashing. Uh, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh no, he turned Whoa. them into ugly, hideous monsters. Well. 
I mean, what? oh my god. Oh, even more ugly, hideous monsters. Kenzie, well, I'm two blue Octoroks the stuck together. Oh no. And I just shot right, and my weapon came from the left side of the screen. What? Oh, he squished him. Oh my god, no. Oh, more demons. And they dance. They dance very well. They can dance. All the way up. Dude. Trinavog is pleased by this oh, dancing. What the hell? Hey, nice blue screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway. But yes? <laughs> anyway. Yes. So, um... Did you, um... Let's see... Have you ever gotten stuck in a wall? Um, I cannot say that I have. Okay, well. I recommend it at least once. I recommend getting stuck in a wall at least once in your life. <laughs> you haven't really lived yet until you've done that. I, I, I can attest, yeah. You can attest. Ooh, did you learn that from me t an hour ago? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, error. But, um, yeah, what was it? I actually have habits when I talk. I say actually a lot. I say, um, lots of things a lot. Also, I, I'm gonna send you an image of what I'm looking at right now, because I'm actually speechless. Are, are you sending it to me through, through yeah, um, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. Dude, this is actually fucking amazing. This is the old man. <laughs> All right. That's the old man. Let me. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. It's the old man. Is that like something from Galaga? No. This is Legend of Zelda. That's the old man. Uh, okay. And also, this corruption got pretty weird. And then there's like all these like, there's like ten times the enemies there should be, and they're all like split in half. <laughs> This is what happens when you mess with corruption. <laughs> that was like the weirdest Legend of Zelda corruption I've ever seen, though. That was pretty dope. It's like, let's turn the game to Galaga really quick. Whoa! Creepy pasta material. What the <laughs> hell? Link turned into a signpost, but he also got teleported into an empty cave. That's weird. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was a nice sound. That's a really good sound. Do you like when I bonk the table? Isn't that your favorite? Oh, it's great. I love it. 10 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> Quality table bonking. <laughs> God, dude, okay. Let me see if I can Whoa. share my screen so you can, like, share my enjoyment right now. This is amazing. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And let me just make sure my recording's still on. Yeah, it is cool. Ah, look at that. It's just a bush. It's bush. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> so, this uh, is why I don't mess with corruption. <laughs> no, man, it's just nothing. Perfect. <laughs> what did you make this time? Oh, it is old man. If I click the button, sometimes something weird happens. Last time I like started zooming like really fast to the right. It was really funny. Oh, you just turned different colors. Yeah, oh. man, you've seen nothing yet. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yep. Hey. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you catch the sword, Link? I can't go right. Oh, oh, the lag. Oh, you. S oh, no, you can't go. Sky. I like the guy on top of the coin on the top. What's up with that? <laughs> I don't know, it looks like like a mix between Mario and Mega Man. It kinda did. Oh. Up, up, yep. That's no yeah, fun. you're in the wall. Yep. Now nah, you're in the wall. Lame. Quick, go mess around with another N. Yeah. N. N. It's the name of the hero in that one show that no one talks about. But I don't yeah. know. You don't even I don't know what show you're talking about. It's a show with game characters. That's a meme. Don't look it up. 
It's an old show from like the 80s, I think. Okay. Yo, that color changed though. What is that blue, like, radio equipment over here? I don't know. I guess you have to contact the aliens, Link. <laughs> I'm not a kid. <laughs> Sucks. This is what you get for corrupting things, my boy. Kill the Octorox. I can't, I don't have a sword. And the crash. Okay, I got a better idea. I'm gonna actually make a save statement here. You say get your sword so and get your butt out there. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I have a name already, game. <laughs> so that safe state didn't work. Oh no. Oh no, it didn't. USB button for this. For what? I don't know. What? It's dangerous to go to a disco rave party. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this, says Rainbow Man. <laughs> I trust rainbow people. I trust rainbow people. This is our, um, our weekly podcast. Then you'll really like the gay community. Oh my god. Oh hey, my god. Hey, There's hey, that man I again. Know Look, man. The way I see it, gay community is pretty gay. It's okay, man. It's like, oh shit. Holy crap. I don't want to follow people, Twitter, stop. You should follow them in real life. I, I could do that, um, but the question is, do I want to? Uh, yes. No. I, uh, no. Uh, okay. It went, um... Okay. To a parallel timeline. You sure are a parallel timeline. What have you done? Did you see that? I pick up the, the no, sword and I'm just like half a ladder. Me and my friend have a great <laughs> meme about ladders. Also, Wait, what was that one? Whoa. I just died in like one hit and also something materialized out of nothing. You did. <laughs> I like this game. It's my favorite. <laughs> oh. This is normal actually. I have a sword. Whoa. Touch it. <laughs> I was hoping it'd make me go touch fuzzy, get dizzy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Are you referencing a certain something? I am referencing a certain something, I if you it. know um, of Ego Raptor. Whoa. Music's still playing. Oh, I. What? Gotta, you gotta, you gotta get them Ego Raptor uh, songs in there, man. Yeah. You ever man. heard of the the Legend of, the Legend of Zelda, um, the rap, man? I, I actually have heard that video. That was a pretty good animation, by the way. That's a that's a ballin' song right there. I'm trying to think of. Well, like, thanks, old man. That is really very nice. You've seen I this old man more times than you've seen him in your life. For help and friendly advice, though I've never seen a sword of quite the. Shape or size. Oh god, that's not a sword. That's blank in disguise. That's blank in disguise, huh? Oh, hey, I thought we I thought we agreed we were keeping this PG, man. Oh yes. I'm two oh three one. <laughs> Fucking hell yeah. Thirty one. Oh my god. What? Yes. I, I found a fairy. Lie, I have painted my swing. Now grab your destiny. If you know what I wait on you with that link, don't leave the cave. Where do you, do you think you're going? Well, <laughs> well, apparently you're having a bad day. Destiny, so I have to give. I am the wind. I am the sun. One day we'll all be one. Oh man, the wind's picking up. It's gonna be a storm in one soon. Uh, okay, game. Alright. I don't like 
I don't like storms. They're not fun. I like storms. You know why? I like turtles. You know why I like the stormies? <laughs> why? I mean, I don't know. Um, I think it's because <laughs> I actually don't. <laughs> Meme. Let me tell you why. It's because I have to clean shit whenever it storms. I feel. You feel? I feel. Okay, well. <laughs> Mino is an interesting app. <laughs> the Mino. Don't even talk about that shit. This is a Christian scream. <laughs> a Christian scream. Not on my Christian sc screen sharing. <laughs> You've got people in Halloween costumes on my good Christian streets. Well, fairy, again. Get it. What, is, what, a fairy, what do fairies even do? Why are we turning this into ASMR? I was just trying to do like the generic, like, weird microphone <gasps> trick. Whoa, there's two of you now. Two. Two. Alright. He looks like garbage when he's facing away, let's be honest. I. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what this is, is this good. content? <laughs> hey, I got what um blue <sighs> Galaga sign and a coin as my items. And it was like a weird coin. It looked like more like a button. <laughs> Wait, what is this thing you sent me? Did you send this to me earlier? Yeah. Hideous unfortunate. Gangus Dolphin hyphen mobile dot mp4. Oh, that was uh, that was smash footage. Oh, I didn't even notice. I guess I get like I must have like skipped it over. My oh, bad. I see. So you never actually watched me play on the casual Discord. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> Did, okay, so a bomb exploded on the top of the screen, and then it's just <laughs> like, oh, you unlocked the passage to the title screen. <laughs> you unlocked the passage to get out of here. Yeah. Alright, I have to go in like five minutes. So let's make it the best five minutes of your life. Alright, I guess. Desire. Well, we're having to go to a good start. Ugh. Children are messaging me. Children of Men. It's a good movie. You should watch it. You know what else is a good movie? You know what? Slumdog Millionaire. Blade Runner 24. You cut out a little bit on that one, actually. Did I? Oh, just, just a little bit. Slumdog Millionaire, Blade Runner 4929, that's, that's what you need to know. Those are good movies. I also, have a meme to send you at a point in time of- Did I send you the Blade Runner meme? Um, you should send it right now. Okay, hold on. <laughs> my- my child is messaging me. Your child, huh? Also, I really wish I that you, I wasn't I told receiving. you I'm on- I told you I joined the Amino app, and like, everyone on Amino is apparently 12. Oh yeah, that's right. So you're just like a mother now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just here like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, take care of my children. Like I literally, my first day, like a twelve year old messaged me, and no, eleven. She was eleven, and like I was like, okay, I gotta go to my classes now. And she's like, okay, and she sends me um a gift that says like best friend, and I'm like, I only knew, I only knew you for five minutes. <laughs> top tier of memes. Yep. So there you go, folks. There's your meme. Uh, I mean... Your daily dose of memeage. Okay, I think this would be a good point to try to send off, to be honest, because I have to probably, like, get out of here. I, I understand that I have a, a club to attend. Take care, and hopefully, just let me know in the comment, like, I don't care if you like the video, but let me know in the comments if there's something terrible about this video, which I'm sure there is. I'm gonna try again, edit it, but I'll, yeah. Also comment if you want me back, because I will always come back. That's true. Requested. Yeah. Okay, and I think I, I do want you to come back a few times at least, because I feel like you are an interesting element that have once in a while. Oh, thank you. No problem. E. Okay. 
Och här. Okej. Ja. Har du har du signat det av? I don't know. I've never been a YouTuber. Okay. Well, this is now. You are now YouTubers, as far as I'm oh concerned. Oh my god. Yep. Okay. I'm um, goodbye, folks. Bye. <laughs>